three cold water baits. Come up with three cold water baits. Um, that was actually pretty easy because uh, I have three that just separate themselves in, in cold water, winter situations. Uh, anytime we're fishing any conditions, the first thing I want to think about is forage. What's going to be the primary forage that time of year? And when it's really cold, I think we have two. I think we have shad, which can be dying when it's cold. Um, what we call a shad kill, where they actually die and, and, and sink slowly. And number two could be crawdads. Crawdads can be a really good forage when it's cold too. I don't think fish eat a lot of brim when it's really cold. So that's the reason I put that aside. And, and I'm gonna stick with shad and crawdads. Now, my second choice is to imitate them. Uh, let's start with the shad. And, and, and as I mentioned, they die off when it gets really cold. So we have what we call a shad kill. They'll just kind of be hovering in the water, just doing a little quivering. No better way to imitate that than a jerk bait. And my favorite one used to be the standard jerk bait, um, but it has become, in, in really cold situations, is the deep diving KVD jerk bait, as you can see here. Um, just a good shad color. What makes a jerk bait so good? Again, back to the dying shad. You want it to suspend perfectly or just barely sink. So change your hook size to make that happen because that's what a shad is doing. He's either just kind of hovering in the water or he's slowly sinking. And that's what I'm trying to imitate with this. Basically, I'm gonna fish this anywhere I see bait. And, and it, that could be in the middle of a pocket. It could be situated on a point. It could be in the back of a creek. One good thing in the winter time is you have a lot of seagulls around. So pay attention to them. If you see them diving, they're probably diving on some, some dying shad. That's a good place to, to uh, fish and a jerk bait, jerk down, stop, suspend, or slowly sinking. That just imitates a winter shad so good. There's no better bait to imitate winter forage shad than a jerk bait. And as I said, over the years, the KVD deep diving jerk bait has become my favorite because I think the fish kind of suspend underneath the bait. This bait's gonna get a little deeper. It's gonna get down there to them fish and, and you're just gonna catch more. I've just caught so many. Now, that shad, probably my favorite forage to imitate during the winter time is a crawdad. There's two ways to do that for me. Uh, one's a square bill crankbait and the other one's a jig. Let's start with the crankbait. I like crawfish colors, reds, orange, brown. Red's deadly. Cold water, for whatever reason, fish really like red. So the KVD 1.5 square bill, and, and, and we got all kind of new colors, new, new crawdad colors. That is a bait that imitates a crawdad just slowly crawling on the bottom. And then when you hit something, it kind of deflects and it just quivers a little bit. Um, man, it's just such a good bait to imitate crawdads. It catches a lot of fish and I can cover a lot of water. That's key for me, being able to cover a lot of water and catch fish in cold water situations. I target fish with this. And when I say that, I may be cranking boat ramps, I may be cranking docks, dock poles, which I do a lot, not floating docks, dock poles. I may be cranking stumps, I may be cranking rocks, but this is a target oriented bait for me. I'm gonna fish, cause that's where the crawdads are gonna live. They're gonna live around, they're not out in open water. They're either in rocks, stumps, dock poles, they cover oriented forage. So that's where I wanna crank my 1.5 is around cover. Last but not least, uh, when you really need to slow down in the extreme, extreme cold water situations, nothing's better than a jig. This is my Strike King skipping jig. This is one time of year that skipping is not huge, but this is still a really good cold water jig because it fishes so well through brush. And brush is the key. I want to fish around brush with a jig. Uh, a lot of people sink it on their docks. They'll sink it out in front of the docks, look for rod holders. If you've got good electronics, you can find it like that. But the crawdads will be hiding in the brush. Fish love to hunker down and cover in cold water situations. No better way to catch them than in brush and a jig. No better bait to catch them out of brush than a jig. So I'm gonna fish this really slow. I'm gonna try to crawl it over every limb in that brush pile. I'm gonna make multiple casts to that brush pile. Time of year when, when sometimes it gets so cold, you gotta slow down and really 
talk them into biting, and there's no better way to do that than a jig. So that's my three baits. One's gonna imitate shad, K, the Strike King KVD um, jerk bait, 1.5 square bill in crawfish, crawdad colors, and the Strike King skipping jig is what you need for cold water situations.